83-year-old Congresswoman Nancy Pelosi announcing today that she will run for re-election next year, saying that, quote, now more than ever, our city needs us to advance San Francisco values. There is a lot of ways to take this one. <laughs> We've obviously been talking about age, Mitch McConnell, Joe Biden, so on and so forth. But when I saw that tweet, and there's a lot of ways that you can announce that you're running for re-election and whether she should step back in the fold. San Francisco values, I think there's a lot of folks who would say, that shouldn't be in the first sentence. Well, and it's wow. almost like she's taunting uh, Republicans. You think so? Because San Francisco is the boogeyman for Republicans. I mean, my goodness, Ron DeSantis was there for a fundraiser a couple of months ago, and for a while, a line in his stump speech was, oh, I saw someone defecating on the streets of San mm. Francisco. That's but what he was there saying. There are people moving out of Florida because they feel that they've gone too far against people who are gay, against people who no, are just— not the same way people and, are moving out of California, are black. No, that's not yeah. true. I, they, I disagree. So <laughs> on the San Francisco value, Nancy Pelosi has a constituency there who actually believes in those values. I would say in San Francisco, they're ready for a change. And I've seen her a number of times. And, and to Mick's point earlier, decline can happen fast. She is an incredible warrior for those values. I think she should step aside and give someone else the chance. Bob, wasn't there a great piece in The Hill this week about <laughs> potential fix to this? <laughs> <laughs> Across that. Yes. She did this. She did say something, or at least the, there was an AP report out about this, where she said she was doing this in part to protect democracy. The democracy was at risk if she didn't run. I'm not really sure what that means. Does that mean if Donald Trump wins that we're going to lose democracy? I thought that was very strange language. But I think use. this is about Trump. It's not about San Francisco. Mm -hmm. It's about mm -hmm. her wanting to win. And listen, she's a great fundraiser. Jeffries is still new on the job. She's still very sharp yeah. at 83. Um, you think so she wants to be there in case Trump wins? Is that is that, or do you think she wants to be on the ballot at the true. same time? I think she a lot of these guys, uh, whether it's women or uh, they, just love the game and they love the power. She, uh, you know, she stepped aside so Hakeem Jeffries yeah. could go to leadership. I thought that was sort of supposed to be the transition out, right? That's like, what I thought. like, why is she running again? I guess I, yeah. not many members of Congress are doing that. So <laughs> I guess she doesn't have many you know, role but, models to step aside. I mean, she was rare to even give up the power that she did. Here's, we haven't seen McConnell do Here's it. part of, I don't know, however you want to describe it. San Francisco Gate, headline, quote, workers in San Francisco's Nancy Pelosi federal building told to stay home due to crime. Federal workers in downtown building were advised to work from home indefinitely because of crime in the area. I, like, th th is this part of her legacy here? I, I just don't understand how you come out of the gate when you've got a building named after you in which people are being told to stay home because of crimes and crime and drugs in the area, and you say, I'm running again because of San Francisco values. She's going to win. I mean, the, 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 she, it's not even close. Yeah. She's going to win 80 to 20. Uh, this, the, the San Francisco values does mean something to the people of San Francisco. If they didn't like San Francisco, they would have voted her out of off of San Francisco I could values. See, they would have voted her out a long time ago. I could see a progressive getting in the race against her, though. Well, there has been a progressive who has repeatedly primary yeah. challenged her, and it hasn't gone anywhere. Well, it's sort of been money, a bit of a money joke. plays big in California, so it's a little different than AOC, but that, you That's know, she's not very connected to the community always, so I could see someone Can getting in the Can she still raise the money? She raises a ton of money. She Bob's absolutely right. I mean, that's one of the reasons that she's still around. Yeah. Can she still do that if she's out of office? I sort of get the impression she can. She's still going to mm. be Nancy Pelosi. That's a good yeah. question, actually, I, if I she didn't so. have the power. I think she still has the star power. Maybe not to the degree when she was speaker, but yes, I do. Yeah. And I, I think and she's got to be a little bit worried about a potential primary challenge, so lean into the local issues, because it's, yeah. it's she's not speaker anymore. She's yeah. representing San Francisco. Last word to you, Mick. You, you referenced your article. It would basically say Nancy Pelosi shouldn't run again. Yeah, the constitutional amendment would, would say, look, you can't stand for office after you're 75 years old. I, 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 listen, I, I, I'm glad we're having the conversation. You said something mm -hmm. really insightful yesterday. You cannot run away from your age. Mm -hmm. You can run away on different policies. You can change your mind on how you voted on something in the past. You can say you've had a change of heart. You can't run away from your age. I, I'm glad we're having this discussion. Apparently, in, the, in Congress, John James is introducing yep. a piece of legislation that's similar to what we've talked about in the Hill this week. Well, if you're Tom mm -hmm. Cruise, you can run away from your age. <laughs> <laughs> that's one way to go. <laughs> you can do it very, very all right, coming up. Thanks for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to subscribe. Click the red button to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.